the cold hard truth on ignoring modern women. Here's a story from one of my subscribers. I'm a guy who leans to the right. I was born and raised in California, and I still live here. Personally, I went McTo several years before I had even heard of the town. I just had too many betrayals with women, and I was tired of dealing with their mess. So I just went McTo full time. It gets to the point where they even stutter when they talk to me. But now that the tables have been turned, they need to demonstrate that they are worthy of my attention. And most of the time, my poker face causes them to stumble and second guess themselves. I can say that I've also been approached by some nines now, even though I've only dated fives in the past. All of this is just making me realize how much of a fool I was for setting with women who weren't worth it. It's been amazing so far, and even some women have been agreeing with me. I don't go out on weekends either, and any extra hours I get, I put into the gym or read a book or something. I just have to say it's 100% worth it. At first, I thought I'd get some pushback from my new way of living, but it's been amazing so far. When I talk to my married friends about MGTOW, they start agreeing with me and it's something that makes sense to a lot of them. I feel so free, and the time I have is so much more than when I had girlfriends with girlfriends, both of which are comparisons to my married friends. With girlfriends, Half the time you're chatting with them or listening to them complain about life. Even a few guys have told me that they wish they could do that with their life instead of organizing theirs. I think it's a great example of someone who was able to increase his value simply by ignoring women. I bet that if you started giving those women attention, especially the nines and tens, they would immediately lose interest in you because that's how women are. Unfortunately. What really happens is that women find it hard to believe that some men would just reject them because it's not something that actually happens. No straight man ever rejects a woman and so when it does happen to them. When a man ignores her, her childhood memories are triggered. She remembers how she was unacknowledged and they are more interested. They are dying with curiosity to know why that man is not interested and ignoring her like that. Women go through a whole crisis when a man ignores them in such a way. They think to themselves, if I'm not enough for this guy, maybe I'm not enough for other men either. They will also blame you of being gay and project their insecurities. When you're single, happy, and doing well in your life, it's like carrying around a mirror that reflects women's insecurities back to themselves. In fact, women do everything in their power to prevent men like these from going out and spreading the facts about female nature. In a nutshell, Ignoring women just breaks a brain because they will want to prove themselves to you. For instance, when men go into monk mode and talk about the nature of women, the majority of women become defensive and may even accuse men of being woman haters or other such things. They blame men for not making women a part of their life and, in a way, they are scared of the damage you can cause as a happy bachelor because you're hurting their chances of finding a nice mate. Women who agree with this guy and tell him that his lifestyle is fine are actually validating him. A woman, especially a good-looking one, cannot bear the fact that the rejection of a straight male throws her entire world into crisis like that. It causes her to doubt the number one biggest power she has. A woman's internal feelings never change. And she will always agree with you that inside she is going crazy over the fact that a man is ignoring her. Most of the time, women will also demonize you, as I mentioned earlier. They will say that you aren't chasing women anymore. In the past, they could shame a man into getting married, but he would always have authority over his family. Today, you could shame a man into getting married, and the authorities could take away his family. However, Smart and successful men are slowly reasserting their authority over their families. These are the men who are in high demand and who put in the most work. They are astute enough not to ruin their lives for women, or they could be concentrating on being in the top 20 instead of growing their careers and physical fitness. Women who have options have the most reasons to oppose MGTO, and women like these are at the forefront of radicalizing women in feminist movements. I think it's wonderful that he now has more time to read books and enjoy his life. He also has time to work out, and everything that he's doing is improving his life. He's putting his time to more productive use while the other couples are out there working overtime to buy a house and arguing over their lives. He's out there expanding his vocabulary and getting a six-pack. While the married guy is going through hell simply to get laid once a week, 
Modern civilization is really working to make it more difficult and expensive to be a single man in our culture. This is done in the hopes that more individuals will choose not to pursue this path. For this reason, I advise all men to find some kind of part-time work to do in their spare time so that they can enjoy their lives more. I've noticed that a lot of people aren't also saving enough for their retirement. So definitely focus on that you could even buy a house because you could still do it if you lower your expenses that way you'll have prime real estate increasing your financial value as a man. And the women will be in venue you know personally. If you're a young man, the world seems to center on women. But if you want to live a full life, you shouldn't squander it on women, as older men will tell you. It is never worth the trouble. You don't realize how much there was to accomplish in life until you've grown older and have more life experience under your belt. And the reason you didn't do any of it is because you were too preoccupied with that one girl at the gym. That's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon for daily updates. See you tomorrow.